Friends, you're on Kiss. Thank you for listening to us. Dear Ryan and Sissini, it is our Ryan's Roses email. We got some new stuff at home that we desperately needed, a new laptop and a new iPad, Amanda La Puente says. When I was setting it all up, I logged into the cloud, and the iPad started importing his stuff. Mm. And I happened to see that he's been FaceTiming someone named S in the middle of the night. So let me get Amanda. Amanda, good morning. How you doing? Hey, good morning. I'm okay. How are good. you? I'm, I'm good. Thanks for asking. So I'm just trying to understand the tech of this, and feel free anybody to chime in. So you're seeing on his recent calls this name, S, like his call log? Yeah, so when you look at like missed calls or outgoing calls, you can see the name, and and so I just saw this S popping up in random places, and it's it was always at like two in the morning, three in the morning, you know, when I'm definitely asleep, and there was there was just every couple of days, not every day, but every couple of days, there was just this S, and I and, didn't know who it was. And you live together? We do. I have to tell you, I don't know if this happened to anybody else. Sometimes on my recent calls, it shows people that says I've called. I've not called. That's a weird glitch. I've I mean, heard it, of it happening to some people. I, yeah. Like, I'll look at my phone list. I mean, I have not called a person, and it says outgoing call. Or incoming, too. I oh, see calls weird. that, like, are missed calls. I'm like, that person did not call me. You ever see that, Patty? You've seen that. I have, yeah, and it's so I, random. It happened to me a few times, like, a few months ago. It's so weird. So, I, I mean, maybe it could be a glitch in software. Mm-hmm. Maybe I will. I've had missed calls happen where, you know, it'll say missed call and my phone never rang. But yeah, but this is there were outgoing calls, too. So that's the, the outgoing ones are the ones that really bother me because I don't know who it is and I don't know okay. why he would be calling someone at two in the morning. OK, let us come back. Let's see what we can do with roses next. Kiss. Amanda's on the line. So she found uh, it, this is a tech thing. She found in the cloud some outgoing, ingoing calls uh, to somebody named S in the middle of the night via FaceTime, and she mm-hmm. thinks her husband's waking up in the middle of the night and FaceTime with somebody named S. Now, you, you you don't know if it's a male or a female, right? I have no idea. So all you know is that you're seeing some sort of exchange in missed yeah. the recent calls with a person named S, and the time is in the middle of the night when you're sleeping. And why yeah. save somebody's contact info as just S? That already seems sketch. sketch. Yeah, like I, it's he doesn't Is have it? a habit of giving people nicknames in his phone or anything. People are always just saved as first name, last name, except for this S person. Mm-hmm. Now, Tanya, don't you do like Miami and then all the list of names, or Vegas and then all the list of names? Yeah, like Dale sketchy. Vegas, right? Yeah. Brandon Miami. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Chris Montana. I wouldn't um, go. <laughs> A city like that, but it'd be like Jim Montana. Laurel Hardware. Right, it was the same thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna call your husband. I just need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call, and then his name on Kiss FM. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. Uh, we're gonna do that now. I'll be very quiet until we tell him he's on the air. See so we can find out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hi, Greg. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Greg. Sorry, who, who's calling? My name is Teresa. I'm actually the owner of Terry's Garden, where a flower shop uh, delivers to residents here in the La Puente area. How you doing this morning? Uh, I'm 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 doing fine. Great. So I'm tr- I'm calling to promote my business, um, and I'm doing a promotion right now for local residents to send a free dozen red roses to anybody that they'd like. Um, is that something that you'd be interested in? Um, but how, how local do they have to be? Um, the LA area? Why? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I think I've got somebody that, that might like them. I, I don't really, I'm not a flower person. Um, but, uh, her name is, uh, Sienna. Sienna. Okay. Great. Uh, we can put a little note on there. Uh, I mean, maybe just say, you know, 2S from G. Just something um, casual. 2S from G. Okay, I have some romantic cards. Would you like me to add that as a little extra? Uh, is it is it extra? 
Um, no, it, this is all free to you anyways. There's just little extra hearts and things like that. Oh, got, got it. And I don't need to like leave a return address or anything. No, no, no. We can get these out by lunchtime today. I don't need cash or credit card info, anything like that from you. Um, we just hope that if you like our arrangements, you refer us to friends and family. And that's how we're spreading the word about our business. Oh, got it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds fine. The romantic card's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay. Greg, Fantastic. it's Ryan Seacrest. Your voice is being broadcast on the radio. I need you to know that. Uh, we have your wife, Amanda, on the line. Can you explain to her what's going on with you and Sienna? Hey, she, just heard, she just heard everything. Uh, hey, Hey Amanda. Um uh wow, okay. Um babe, uh so I uh ha- I've been talk I've been yeah. talking to somebody. Yeah. She um, knows that. But but uh but that but that's it. There's I mean uh, I, we're just we've, sorry, we've just been talking. Greg, Greg, just so you're clear, Amanda just heard, as we all did, you say two S from G and a romantic card. So this is not just that's it. You're not just talking to somebody. Clearly you're teeing up romance. Yeah? Greg, I know I know you've been FaceTiming someone in the middle of the night because when I was setting up our new iPad, all of your call history came in when it got connected to the cloud and I, I saw, I saw all your outgoing calls and missed calls and it's just to S and then you just, why, why have you been doing that? Uh, I, look, I, uh, we, we met on Instagram. We, we, um, you know, started talking and, uh, have been having conversations for the past few months and, um, with what it's intent, Greg? Any... With what intent? Honestly, hey, boredom. I'm bored, and and uh, it's not anything serious. I love my wife, and I'm not. I would never leave her. And and babe, that's the one thing I would say. Like, I, I'm not. I'm not going to leave you. I have no plan to meet this girl. Um, she's not even Are in the area. I... Not with you. you. No, you not with you. Just the same. The, the same day in and day out. I mean, we're we're stuck in this thing, and and it's just, uh, I just feel trapped, you know. And you didn't think that was something you should talk to me about. You didn't think to talk to me about seeing my FaceTime chat and went to Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> it sounds to me like we've got to talk to you. Talk to me, and 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 you're right. I should have talked to you. I should have been more upfront, and I'm sorry. But I'm, I'm being upfront now, and I want to really stress that I'm not leaving you. I, this has nothing to do. I have no plans. Uh, let, let, let's talk about this. Let's work this out. Let's actually have a conversation. You promise? You promise you're not I leaving? I promise me. you. Yes, yes, I promise you. I'm okay. not leaving you. Uh, I mean, okay. Also, a few more questions about how he met S and where he was planning to go with this. Because, Greg, it sounds to me your boredom was going in a direction where you were going to be tempted to cheat on your wife. You're waking up at 2 mm-hmm. in the morning hiding these calls from your wife. That's not good. Look, uh, she she is dating someone as well. And, uh, you know, they're, they're not Sienna? married, obviously. Yes, Sienna. But you're not Sienna dating someone. You're married to Amanda. I know that I am. I, thank you, Ryan. Yes, I know I am married to Amanda. But well, it seems like you need Amanda's, to be reminded based on the premise of this call. Mm-hmm. Wow. And you are fair, fair enough. All right. Well, listen, Greg, we're going to let you go. Uh, and Amanda, you as well. Good luck to you. I hope you guys find peace and happiness with whatever it is you decide to do. I'm just, I'm, I know, I'm worried that Amanda's saying, is worried about him leaving her. Forget that I for know, a second. I what's, I know. what's he not communicating have... about the boredom? about right she needs to have more confidence in herself so just a quick the snapshot just to go back to this ryan's roses the snapshot is greg married to amanda greg sneaks off in the middle of the night to talk to sienna on facetime who we met on instagram and then he says babe i was just bored i didn't tell you i'm not leaving you and then she says you know oh i'm so happy to hear you're not leaving me basically and Mm -hmm. i think she needs to consider who she's married to i mean the guy didn't communicate bored boredom's fine I mean, boredom happens, but you got to say, hey, look, I'm bored mm-hmm. or or I need us to talk about this or it's going to go, you know, it's it's bad. You're bored. Do a puzzle. No, I think he's, no. I don't know what, what kind of bored he was, but you know what I mean? 
Yeah. So anyway, he decides to meet this girl on Instagram named Sienna. The name I love. I, it's on my list. Yeah. Of favorite names. It's a nice name. Mm-hmm. But don't steal it, Tanya. <laughs> Hands off. <laughs> Maybe I should mention the list of, if I have kids' names, I have that list in my phone. I know. And Tom's, I w- don't I iCloud my list and take it from me. <laughs> don't iCloud. I know how crafty you can be. You can, can you see Tubbs just all your names? logging into my cloud, stealing my potential baby names with his girlfriend. I mean, Tubbs has all your info. What, what if you, you meet a girl named Sienna and like fall in love with her and like then what? It's, it could happen. Yeah. Then, then what? You can't name your daughter Sienna. No, I can't. Can I? Mm-hmm. Or can I? No, I can't. Maybe you could. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, these are all such hypothetical questions. You totally could. Then you could call her CC for short. But it's spelled with an S. C-C, oh, that's, S-I-S-I. That's, yeah. that's his mom's name as a grandma, isn't it? But that's CC with a C. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, I mean, guys, we're, we're going down a path here. This is a path. We're talk- <laughs> Let's go back to this couple. So anyway, he says, I'm bored. So he starts talking on FaceTime to this other woman. He sends the flowers to her. I think the guy was plotting to cheat. He totally was. If Michael met some slore on oh. Instagram and then started FaceTime with her... Then it slur, would be game Tubbs, over. You can take that one. I'm not going to use that name. <laughs> yeah. Life. First of all, she's not a slur just because Michael's talking to her. She knows he's married, so she does. She is. She doesn't know. Does she, she know? Might not know. Does Z- I don't know Z- her. Know? It's public public knowledge. Well, hold on. We're talking about Greg and Amanda. Are you talking about you and Michael now? I, I look. I, work, I, I got a kid and a wife named Sienna right now. There's a lot of things going on over here. I'm just saying, Sienna, the woman in the roses, might not know that this man is married. So she's might she might not be a slur. She might no. She meet. is a slur because he said she was also dating somebody else, and she is talking to some other dude that that de- by definition means her Sissy has planted her slur flag. Yeah, I'm just planting slag. it. We don't know. We don't know. He said it. All right, look, guys. Clearly, it's struck a chord with somebody here. All and I think we know who that is. Well, I just don't think we should be calling other women slores that we don't know. Oh, whatever. Well, what would you call her then, Tanya? Yeah, she's, she's, I, I, I don't she's know. dating this guy and dating somebody else. She's dating. A cheater. She's a woman in the she's wild. She's a cheater. No. She's a slore. She's not, com- she's not committed to either one of them. Look, you guys have different views. That's why this show exists. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not touching this with, with my Yeti thermos. By the way, when did Yeti become the most popular brand of every thermos and cooler in the world? I would say in the last couple of years, but like, yeah, it's up there. It's up there. Everything is a Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. I got, Yeti. Two, I got two Yeti sitting over here between me and mm-hmm. Tom's. Have you a Yeti cooler? That's a game changer right there. Yeah, because it used to be the Igloo or the Playmate cooler. Right Remember now, the play- the my cooler. parents had the Playmate cooler, right? Yes. The red and white top one, press the button and the hood opens up. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Selena, we have digressed down multiple paths here. <laughs> uh, the, the same thing has happened to you. Your boyfriend was addicted to what? Hi, Ryan. Yeah, my boyfriend was addicted to chatting. Same thing. And I am a heavy sleeper, so I could sleep till noon. And I saw he was that he was a heavy sleeper, too, that he was sleeping right next to me. Uh, the whole time he's, like, chatting with all these girls on Instagram and... It was, you know, it makes you feel so vulnerable because he's doing it right next to you. I, I really do feel for Amanda. I, I do feel for her because I know how painful it is. And I honestly, especially when she says, I please do promise not to leave me. Like, it just breaks my heart to hear yeah. that. So, <sighs> um, so much insecurity there. Did you break up with him <laughs> when you found out? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay, I did, and I mean, it's just, yeah, it, it was very painful, especially, like I said, you're sleeping, you're not you're sleeping right there. Yeah. yeah, you're right there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, Selena, uh, I'm glad that, it's so interesting that he was doing right there, I'm glad that you got away from him, but I'm also a little bit jealous you can sleep that well. <laughs> I know, a lot of people are. Right? It's, like, that uh, is a really great nice. trait. I, You know, it's like, mm-hmm. I, I know people that can fall right to sleep, sitting up and sleep for hours, and... I mean, I can't not say it doesn't frustrate me, right? Yeah, no, I, that's me. I could sleep for hours and deep, oh, deep. Lucky. I mean, the work could crumble. So I'm sorry, <laughs> Ryan. No, it's okay. I'm not taking it personally. I'm just saying, like, I'm jealous. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Selena, we love you for listening. Thanks for calling. All right, thanks. All right.